Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to Brooks Beauty and Staff. I am doing a review on The Bachelor and the Beauty Queen. This is the first book um, in the Once Upon a Tear series by Carolyn Hector. And today on my cheeks I have on Max Blush in the color Devil. Um, and it's also a satin finish. But anyway, let's talk about Once Upon a Tear. It's a black by a guy named um, Stephen Rice. And Lexi Pendergrass is um, his... I want to say arch nemesis. Basically, they're enemies for now. Um, enemies who are attracted to each other, per se. How it started was that um, he had called his niece um, wearing a very revealing dress um, to go impress her boyfriend. Now, with that being said, the reason he raising his niece, um, he had Kimber, Kimber, his name, niece's name is Kimber. Um, she also has a little sister named Philly. Um, the reason he's raising his niece is him and his brother Nate, because their other brother, um, her, their older brother had, um, got into a car accident and passed away moments prior, so the girls, him and his wife, so the girls, which was their daughters, their fathers, they, the girls basically had to basically live with them. And, you know, as bachelors, they were not used to just being able to be like a full-time parent full-time, because they're used to seeing their nieces, um... Probably when they go visiting and stuff. But anyway, um, with that being said, um, Kimber wanted to impress her. And come to find out, he just found out what the shop that she got the dress from. And she was livid, like livid. When I tell you that man was livid, he was not having it. He was not happy that she bought that dress. Um, he was going on Lexi, told her her holler. He was just going on her. Um, meanwhile, Lexi is... um. A former beauty pageant um agent she has a huge family in the town and being that it's a small um town isn't they located in um georgia by the way um a lot of things happen that you would know of so with that being said it was a scandal um a long time ago and you know of course it came back to her parents and everybody you know looked at her differently you know how some small times are they would judge you off the break and stuff like that because that's they just are I don't know. So you know they meet and Steven to get back at Lexi, he decides, hey, I'm um buy the building next door. And Lexi was trying to purchase the um not building but purchase the property next next to her shop because you know she was trying to expand, but he basically was being petty. But as they got to know each other, you know, um of course sexual tension builds up. And things like that. And they get to know each other as well, too. It's more to Lexi behind the crown. It's more to Lexi behind her. And the girls really adore her. And as a matter of fact, she's coached for Philly to do the, um, I forgot the name of that pageant. But it's a pageant dealing with girls as Philly's age group. And it, and it's amazing. That's all I can say. And Nate, you know, he tries to grind. Steve is geese by trying to fake going after Lexi, knowing that Steve was attracted to her, basically slaying the fire under him, like, bro, you need to go ahead and get her. I enjoyed the book for the opening of The Bachelor and the Beauty Queen. I did enjoy the book. I enjoyed the beginning of it. Um, I enjoyed the fact that it talks a little bit about the background of Steven and Nate and Lexi, of course. Um, I have the other book, um, the, first, the, the second book, his Southern Sweetheart by her, if you guys can see. Probably can't because this son. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got some tape on that. It's called a Southern Sweetheart. Um, I'll actually put it in the video so you guys can see it better. I have that one. And I have a third book coming later on, which is called Um Basically Um The Beauty and the CEO. I'm waiting for that one to come today. I actually got that one from Harlequin. Um, I actually got it through the Harlequin Rewards program, so I'm waiting for that one to come as well, too. Um, I definitely recommend this one to get if you want to know more about some small town culture, at least. Beauty pageant culture um, and things like that. I truly enjoyed it. So when the third one comes, I'm going to continue the series with His Southern Sweetheart, which you will get a review. Oh, you can see the um, cover right here. A little bit. All right, cool. Um... I'm going to do a separate review on this other sweetheart. And then when my book comes today, I'm going to also do a separate review on that one as well. And then I'll just do a whole series wrap up. 
Anyway, I thank you guys for watching Books Be and Stuff. I give you, thank you guys for just giving a lot of authors new a chance, and I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye now.